villagers and politicians say a proposal to locate a catering facility at Down Castle could deprive them of tourist trade. Trossachs and Teeth Tory councillors Martin Earl and Jeremy MacDonald have expressed serious concerns regarding the plan by Historic Environment Scotland, operators of the popular castle, parts of which date back to the 13th century. In modern times, it has become known for its starring roles in Monty Python and the Holy Grail, Game of Thrones and Outlander. Since appearing as the double of fictional Castle Lock in time-traveling drama Outlander it has enjoyed an increase in visitors of more than 90 percent. Hess sought planning permission last July for a mobile catering facility to be located in the car park at the castle. This was granted by Stirling Council planning officers as a delegated decision. However, Concerns were raised at the time that this would undermine attempts to encourage visitors to spend time in Down itself where there are a number of food and drink outlets and small businesses. With high streets across the country struggling for years, there has been a long-running concern expressed by business owners that Hess could do a lot more to encourage visitors to use facilities in Down itself. Recently, Hess has been seeking support for a bid to the Scottish government's Rural Tourism Infrastructure Fund. This bid supported by the council and community organizations improves walks in the area, brings the public toilets back into use and spends money on improving signage and information for visitors. However, the councillors believe progressing a catering unit at the castle at the same time as submitting a bid to enhance the wider visitor experience in the down area raises serious questions regarding how committed Hess is to supporting the wider community. Councillor Earl said, we have heard a lot of positive comments from staff at Hess about how they want to work with the community but actions speak louder than words. Franchising a catering unit at the castle is not going to do anything to help businesses or encourage visitors to explore the nearby area. They need to rethink this decision. Some joined up thinking from Hess would be welcome, added Councillor MacDonald. If they are committed to being a supportive partner in the local economy this move hardly seems the way to go about it. Trossachs and Teeth SNP Councillor Evelyn Tweed also has concerns. At a meeting with the some members of the Community Council and the public held recently to discuss the rural infrastructure bid, a catering facility at Down Castle was discussed, she said. People were rightly anxious about this and what effect it would have on Down and the businesses in the area. We really need to be thinking big picture here as the castle has to work in harmony with Down and the services that are provided there. James Innes, chair of Kilmadoc Community Council, said, Historically Kilmadoc, which encompasses the villages of Down and Deanston and surrounding area has been closely associated with the castle. Tourist numbers have increased dramatically to the castle and the local community and businesses can provide catering services, interesting shops and other places of historical interest for tourists' enjoyment. The local community are not in favor of catering facilities at the castle and apart from anything else would certainly increase the amount of litter in the area. The local organizations are keen for better links between the castle and the villages which could provide a sustainable and worthwhile partnership. I hope Hess are of the same mind. Malcolm Dryden of Down Business Association added, Down is a vibrant historic village with many independent traders situated in the main street. We are constantly striving to improve the village environment for both residents and visitors alike with many volunteer groups undertaking all manner of jobs within the village. If Hess install a catering unit at the castle it would undoubtedly affect the tourists walking down to the village to see what is on offer and in turn will have a detrimental effect on our local rural economy and employment. An Hess spokesperson said, Hess has been given planning permission from Stirling Council to trial a mobile takeaway catering facility at Down using our in-house catering contactor over the summer. There is no intention to compete with existing businesses within the village of Down however as many pre-booked coach tour groups are visiting on a multi-site itinerary and are on a tight time frame, this is designed to meet their requirements. Hess is fully committed to supporting the community of Down and, as part of the application for funding from the Scottish Government's Rural Tourism Infrastructure Fund, is planning to improve the PALS network linking the castle with the village thereby encouraging visitors to explore the village and vice versa.